Hello and welcome to Love My Poland. As I've mentioned in previous videos, learning Polish, which is a language that's so rich in idioms and other colloquial expressions, continues to fascinate me. And there is no doubt you'll feel the same way if you're on your way to learning Polish or planning on studying Polish in the nearest future. Today, I'm releasing my third edition of Polish idioms and expressions you've just got to hear. I've got seven great ones for you today that have really stood out to me over all the years here because they're so unique compared to the ones we have in English. And well, to be honest, I just think they're lots of fun. Let's get straight to it. For number one today, you might hear a Polish friend ask someone they know how they're doing. And instead of the typical response of good, great, or all right, you just might hear the word guitarra, which simply means guitar. When guitarra is used, it's a sure sign that things are good or cool. But I've recently learned from friends here that it's likely a kind of spin-off from a popular response, git, which is a slang way of saying in Polish, good, great. I like it, guitarra. For number two, if you've spent any length of time in Poland, you've likely come across the term nie mój cyrk, nie moja małpy, or it's not my circus, not my monkeys. This is what someone says when they would like to express clearly that this isn't my problem, this isn't my business. The first time I heard it, I thought it was some crazy made up idiom that someone blurted out just to be humorous. But the truth is, it's a lot more common than you'd expect. In fact, if you've ever watched a Netflix show called Orange is the New Black, you've likely heard it without even realizing it. Here's that part again. Hey, Tokyo what? It's my art, and I spent a lot of time on them, and they're beautiful, and then that piece of Paul Bunyan confiscated them, and I want them back. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Oh, I like that. Did you come up with that? No, it's Polish. No. I'm not a huge fan of Polish. No, me neither, but I have some good maxims. <laughs> Our third expression today is a fantastic idiom that goes like this. Nie wywołuj wilka z lasu, which translates in English to don't call the wolf out of the forest. In other words, don't create problems for yourself or stir up any kind of trouble whatsoever. This idiom reminds me a lot of the English idioms don't poke the bear or just let sleeping dogs lie. It is really funny to me how different countries use a variety of animals differently in creating such expressions. I love it. For number four, this is a phrase I have heard more times than I can remember, and it sounds like this. Gdzie diabeł mówi dobranoc, or where the devil says goodnight. I recall this one perfectly, as I remember exactly where I was when I heard it the first time. When my wife and I first got married, we decided to take a strange road trip to Latvia and Lithuania just for the fun of exploring these two countries. On the way there, in the east of Poland, like it happens often, I got completely lost and we ended up in some village in the middle of the forest. It looked like time had completely forgotten this community. There wasn't a gas station or a restaurant in sight. We were hungry. My wife said something to me. She was annoyed. She said, get us out of here. I do not want to spend the night where the devil says goodnight. I looked at her, what? <laughs> I'd say this idiom is the closest in English to being in the middle of nowhere, stuck in the middle of nowhere, or being somewhere at the end of the world. This one puzzled me. I still, to this day, really don't understand why a remote place would have anything to do with the devil saying goodnight, <laughs> but it is amusing and is certainly unforgettable. For number five, take a look at this one and try to guess what it might mean. Mirjal skure na don't divide the skin while it's still on the bear. <laughs> this one at first, when I heard it, I could not make sense of it. It probably boggled my mind the most and it really wasn't obvious to me. But it means something to the effect of don't speak too soon or don't count your chickens before they've hatched. I can only imagine what event had to have taken place for this idiom to be born in the first place. It is a good thing I'm not a hunter. That's probably why I don't understand it. It's kind of scary when you think about this idiom. Listen to our sixth expression today. Pasować jak wół do karety, or to go together like an ox and carriage. Well, trying to imagine an ox pulling a carriage is a tough task to say the least, but this one actually makes a lot of sense. It simply means two things don't go together very well, but it could also mean sometimes that something kind of stands out in an awkward way. 
The first time I heard this, I was at a wedding reception about 10 years ago, here in Poland, obviously, and some of the guests across the table were making remarks about the married couple. And they stated, one girl said, I don't understand the attraction to each other. She went on to say, you know, their marriage is not going to last. There's no way they're, they're going to make it. And they really go together like an ox in a carriage. And in this context, I think we would say in English simply, they, they just don't go together or they don't vibe. But it could also be argued that we could say they kind of stick out like a sore thumb in terms of looking awkward. So very interesting idiom. For our final one today, number seven, I've heard my mother-in-law complain from time to time that communicating with or getting through to my three headstrong sons is like throwing peas against a wall. In Polish, that would be rzucać grochem o ścianem, throwing peas against the wall. Once again, I can't help but to wonder how this idiom ever came into existence. The closest idioms in English that we have would be like talking to a brick wall or having your words fall on deaf ears. I love Polish idioms. Well, studying Polish is an eternally fascinating endeavor, and it truly does give a lot of insight uh, to understanding the people and culture around you that much more. If you have any idioms that I didn't mention that you think ought to be shared with my YouTube community, put them in the comments section. I would love to read them, and hey, I might use them in episode four coming up in the future. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Click the button right about here on this masonry heater so you don't miss out on future episodes that are on the way. Thanks for watching and see you next time.